Hola, ¿qué tal? Aquí estamos eh, con más expresiones. Um, ahora estamos en la letra Q. La Q. This expression. And it's not really, well, I suppose it is an expression. When you're in a restaurant, let's say you're in a restaurant and you're looking at the menu, okay, and it's just like, just, just like a foreign language. You're looking and you think, what on earth is that? What you can do is you can ask the waiter what's in it. All right, because it's really important sometimes, because sometimes it's like you just don't want it. Okay, so how you ask what's in it is you use this little expression. You say, what is it carrying? What is it carrying? And that is, ¿Qué lleva? ¿Qué lleva? All right, so to attract the waiter's attention, what do you say? Probably not oiga. Maybe, but normally, perdone, perdone. Um, ¿Qué lleva la paella de mariscos? Okay, ¿qué lleva? What has it got in it? And he will then recite a big long list of stuff. Okay, but at least you've got a chance of understanding what's in it. But also, if, if you specifically do not want something in it, then what you can ask, you can use lleva, and you can say, eh, perdone, le, la paella de mariscos lleva eh, gambas. So does the, the seafood uh, paella have prawns in it? So does it have prawns in it? Is lleva gambas eh, la paella? Or um, que lleva? Okay, so what has it got in it? Que lleva? Does it have such and such in it? Lleva um, ca uh, calamar, 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 sí. O lleva um, eh, mejillones, muscles. Yeah. So you can ask specifically, que lleva? What's it got in it? general okay um, all right another K so we're in the K's here this one que pasa oh look did I start did I start the stopwatch no I'll do it now and then knock off a couple of minutes okay so que pasa que pasa conmigo y el reloj no se sé. no se sé que me pasa okay que pasa is has a various meanings. One is, it can mean, what's the problem? What's the problem? What's going on? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa contigo? What's up with you? Okay, what's going wrong with you? What's wrong with you? ¿Qué pasa? If you want to, you can put the word te in. ¿Qué te pasa? What's wrong with you? Okay, because ¿Qué pasa? Is, is like, what's, what's happening? General, yeah? ¿Qué pasa? Okay, you can say contigo. ¿Qué te pasa? Mm -hmm. Or, um, when you greet somebody, um, just like general thing, you can say, hola, hola, que pasa? Like, what's up? What's happening? What's going down? What's going up? So we, what we say, in the UK, we say, what's up? We want to know what's up here. And then I think in the US, say, what's going down? Yeah, a lot of movement on there. Okay, que pasa? Que pasa, tío? Que pasa, tronco? That's how they do in Spain, Madrid. ¿Qué pasa, tío? What's up, uncle? Or, ¿Qué pasa, tronco? What's up, uh, tree trunk? That's a nice name, isn't it? I don't like it when they say tronco to me. I don't like it. Don't like it. I'm not really a tree trunk. I don't see myself as a tree trunk. ¿Qué pasa, tronco? Yeah? Um, so you can use that. You can obviously use it in the past as well. What happened? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? What happened? ¿Qué pasa? What's happening? ¿Qué te pasa? What's happening with you? ¿Qué le pasa? What's happening with him? What's up with him? What's up with her? ¿Qué le pasa? A esa chica. What's up with that girl? Yeah. So it's a nice, handy, just general what's going on, what's happening. Okay. Bien. Okay. Now, this is the expression I was going to refer to when we said para nada, which is like no way. All right. Um, also, it, you could say to say like no way. What you're joking? No way. Is que va? Que va? All right. Which is like what's going? <laughs> what's going? Um, and it just means no way. Like uh, tú quieres um, tú quieres ir a la fiesta? Que va? Que va? No, no voy. Yo no voy. Que va, que va, que va. 
do that three times. That means absolutely no way. Que va, que va, no, que va. No way. Que va. Yeah? All right. Now, next one is uh, quedar. However, that's I'm not going to talk about that because we've already just done um, a word blog on quedar. All right, so that's so I would refer you to that, which is quedar, quedarse, and everything like that. Okay, um, okay. But there's just one little thing which I don't think we mentioned in that that quedar thing, and it's when you, it's quedarse claro. Okay, and that's um, how do we put that? When if we want to say to somebody, is that clear? Is that clear? Yeah, giving somebody a hard time. And you say to them, oye, eh, vale, por ser idiota, ya no sales. Te queda claro, okay, for being silly, you're not going out. Is that clear? To you, is that remaining clear? Is that staying clear for you? Vale, te queda claro, si, sí, me queda claro, no salgo, si. ¿Sí? Okay, castigado. Castigado, by the way, is grounded. When you want to say to somebody, you're grounded. Castigado. Okay. Estás castigado. And that means you're grounded. Te queda claro. Tú no sales en una semana. Te queda claro. You're not going out in a week. Is that clear? Sí. Me queda claro. Okay. Of course, my father never did that to me. Now, nor did any parent that we know. Verdad? Okay. Another thing as well, and I don't think we covered this on the, on the, the video, is with quedarse, you can use it to talk about something being big for you or small for you. Clothing, shoes, things like that. Okay. And what you do is this, it's, it's quedarse grande, quedarse pequeño, okay? So imagine you, you try on a, a, a jumper, okay, a sweater, and you say, ¿sabes? Me queda, me queda un poco eh, pequeño. Me queda un poco pequeño. It's a bit small for me, okay? So how you do, you're saying, me queda, so it is, me queda un poco pequeño. It's a bit small for me. It's it's remaining on me a bit small. Or, uf, mira, me queda muy grande. Me queda muy grande. It's very big for me. Okay? It's, it's too big. Me queda demasiado grande. It's far too big for me, yeah? Um, and obviously, if that's one thing, but if, for example, you're talking about some boots, that you're trying on, then you wouldn't say me queda, you would say me quedan, it's just like gustar, yeah? Um, Sabes, me quedan, me quedan pequeñas estas botas, me quedan pequeñas, these boots are small for me, hmm? or no, me quedan, me quedan fatales, they're, they're, they are horrible on me, it can also be, uh, they don't suit me, okay? So it also, it's not just size, but it's whether it actually sits well on you, yeah? So you can say, um, ¿Cómo me quedan esto? ¿Cómo me quedan estos pantalones? How are these trousers on me? Oh, te quedan eh, bonitos, eh? Te quedan muy bonitos. Oh, those trousers look lovely on you. Te quedan bonitos. Uh -huh. um, you can use it, for example, ¿Cómo me quedan...? <laughs> ¿Cómo me queda el, el culo en estos pantalones? How's my bum looking in these trousers? Ooh, te queda un poco grande. It's looking a bit big. Okay. Hay que cambiar esos pantalones. Okay, so it suits you, it doesn't suit you, or it's big for you, it's it's not, it's small for you. So, quedar. ¿Cómo me queda? Ay, me queda perfecto este suéter. Me queda perfecto. It fits me perfectly. Okay, or it suits me very nicely. Okay? Interesting verb, quedar. Mm. Okay, ¿cómo vamos? Uh, creo que vamos a llegar... Sí, voy a 
parar allí. No, voy a hacer uno más, uno más. Um, rumbo a. Ok, rumbo a. And that means on the way to. On the way to. So, um, for example, estoy en rumbo a tu casa. Estoy en rumbo a tu casa. I'm on the way to your house. Um, or you could say, ¿sabes? Lo, lo voy a hacer rumbo a casa. I'm going to do it on the way home. Rumbo a casa. I used to use it a lot. I, I'm not sure whether I use it very much now, but every now and again, it just sounds nice. Rumbo a casa. Sí, lo voy a comprar eh, rumbo a casa. I'm going to buy it on the way home. ¿Mm? Sí. Bien. Vale, entonces nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. A ver si puedo empezar el cronómetro. O no. Vamos a ver. Vale, hasta pronto. Hasta luego.